every summer the island of Sodor is very busy. Holiday makers love to sightsee, and when the weather is fine there is no better place to be. Some people like to go to the mountains, whereas others like the valleys. Children love the seaside. One morning, Thomas was puffing along the line that runs by the coast. His two coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, were packed with children going to the beach. Everyone was very happy. Percy was taking some stone trucks to the harbour. Thomas, you look cheerful. I wish I could take children instead of trucks. They're the Vicar's Sunday School, Percy. I'm busy this evening, but the station master says I can ask you to take the children home. Of course I will, Thomas. Later that day, Percy saw Harold. Sorry, Percy, can't talk. I'm on high alert. Why? Bad weather's due. My help's always needed. Mind how you go, Percy. Ah, as long as I've got rails, Harold, I can go anywhere in any weather, anyhow. Goodbye. And he set off for the beach. It was a beautiful day, but Edward was worried. Be careful, Percy. There's a storm coming. A promise is a promise, no matter what the weather. The children had had a lovely day, but by tea time, dark clouds loomed overhead. Annie and Clarabel were glad when Percy arrived, he was just in time. Rain streamed down Percy's boiler. Oh. oh, it's cold. And he thought of his nice dry shed. Percy struggled on past coastal villages and into the countryside. The river was rising fast. I wish I could see! I wish I could see! As he battled against the rain, more trouble lay ahead. <gasps> oh, the water's sloshing my fire! Percy's driving a fireman had to find some more firewood. I'll have some of your floorboards, please. But I only swept the floor this morning. But the guards still helped. Soon Percy's fire was glowing nicely. He felt warm and comfortable again. Just then he saw Harold. Oh dear, Harold's come to laugh at me. Something thudded on the Percy's boiler. Ow! He needn't throw things. It's a parachute, Percy. Harold's dropping hot drinks for us. Thank you, Harold! Good to be of service. And Harold buzzed away. The water lapped Percy's wheels. Percy was losing steam again, but he forged bravely on. I promised! I promised! He made one last big effort, and then, exhausted but triumphant, he brought the train home. Well done, Percy! You kept your promise despite everything! The Fat Controller arrived in Harold. First he thanked the men, then Percy. Harold told me you were a, a wizard. He says he can beat you at some things, but not at being a submarine. I don't know what you two get up to sometimes, but I do know that you're a really useful engine. Oh, sir. 